Hello, and welcome to Ask an Entertainment Lawyer. I'm Larry Zerner. I'm an entertainment lawyer in Los Angeles for the past 27 years. Uh, if you like uh, these videos, please like and subscribe. And if you have questions for future episodes, please leave them in the comments. If you want to find out more information about me or my firm, you can find that at zernerlaw.com, or you can email me, larry at zernerlaw.com. One last question, uh, one last thing. Uh, please remember, just because I'm giving legal advice doesn't mean we've created an attorney-client relationship. Today's question is, can I protect the title of my script? So people call me and they go, I'm, I've written a script, it's a great script, I'm going to try and get it sold, but I, I really love the title and I want to protect the title. Can I do that? All right, here's the answer. The answer, well, first of all, is a general answer, which is that you are way ahead of yourself if you've just written a script and you're like, I'm worried about protecting the title uh, when it goes into the theaters. The, the journey from... Uh, writing a script to getting the movie made and into theaters is a, uh, for most people and most times, a long journey. Uh, assuming a studio gets the script, they will they will decide what the title is. Uh, you will have no uh, decision making ability on what the title is. They may take your title, they may not. Um, I wouldn't worry about registering it. Um, that being said, can you register it? Well, here's the deal. The trademark office does not let you register the title of a single work. So a single movie title cannot be protected by trademark, only a series of movies. So for example, Friday the 13th is a movie series that is a registered trademark of Paramount. Um, Harry Potter is a movie series. Star Wars, um, uh, Indiana Jones. So, so some of those things like the movie Star Wars which those of us old enough to remember in 1977, that movie, Star Wars, is no longer called Star Wars. It's called A New Hope. Why? Because now they wanted to call the whole series Star Wars. So the whole series is known as Star Wars. Uh, episode four is known as A New Hope because because so, they couldn't protect it if they just named that one movie Star Wars and they wanted to protect the whole franchise. So you can protect a series of movies uh, you can't protect the t one title. The other thing is that the studios or members of the MPAA have their own uh, title protection service. If you're a member of the MPAA, uh, you can register a title with the group, um, and that's so that's how you protect your title among the studios. So the studios and and uh, all have this internal way of protecting uh, titles, but it's not legally enforceable. It's legally enforceable among them, but not among other people. That's why you have, you, if you look at IMDb, you'll see lots of movies with the same title um, uh, because uh, only, the, only the studio ones uh, are, do they protect themselves. Um, but uh, so if you go, but if you go, okay, I really want this title and I'm going to make a series of movies, can I do it? Well, you can file what's called an intent to use application with the trademark office. Uh, and uh, and register that title, and the title will, it will go through the, the the examination process as if it was an actual use. And at the end of that uh, examination process, you'll get what's called a notice of allowance from the uh, trademark office. And from that time, you'll have um, uh, six months from the date of the notice of allowance, and it usually takes nine to twelve months to get the notice of allowance. And from then from that date, you'll have another six months to file uh, a statement of use saying I'm using it. And if you're not using it, you can get extensions on that statement of use for, you can do that up to five times. So you can buy, you can, you can sort of get that title trademark, sort of get that protection for up to four years, on, but it, it's sort of a quasi protection because you're saying I'm going to file it. And then as long as you have a second movie come out, in before uh, the time is up, as long as you're still getting the extensions and paying for the extensions, uh, and you have that second title come up, then you can file a statement of use, and then they'll give you your registration. So is it possible? Yes. It's a long, quasi-expensive, that'll probably cost you a few thousand dollars. Uh, it's probably not the, the best use of your money, uh, but if you if you, money's no object and you want to do it, you could do it. Um, 
uh, assuming that you can get two movies out in, a, let's say, a four-year period. Um, all right, that's the answer to your question, and thanks for watching. Take care.